Eov, Job 40. Moreover, Yahweh answered at Eov and said, Shall he that contends with El, Shaddai, instruct him? He that reproves Eloah, let him answer it. Then Eov answered at Yahweh and said, Behold, I am vile. What shall I answer you? I will lay my hand upon my mouth. Once I have spoken, but I will not answer. Yea, twice, but I will proceed no further. Then answered Yahuwah unto Eth Eov out of the whirlwind, and said, Gird up your loins now like a man. I will demand of you, and declare unto me. Will you also disannul my judgment? Will you condemn me, that you may be righteous? Have you an arm like Ale, or can you thunder with a voice like him? Deck yourself now with majesty and excellency, and array yourself with glory and beauty. Cast abroad the rage of your wrath, and behold everyone that is proud, and abase him. Look on everyone that is proud, and bring him low and tread down the wicked in their place. Hide them in the dust together, and bind their faces in secret. Then will I also confess unto you that your own right hand can save you. Behold now, Behemoth, which I made with you, he eats grass as an ox. Lo now, his strength is in his loins, and his force is in the navel of his belly. He moves his tail like a cedar. The sinews of his stones are wrapped together. His bones are as strong pieces of brass. His bones are like bars of iron. He is the chief of the ways of El. He that made him can make his sword to approach unto him. Surely the mountains bring him forth food where all the beasts of the field play. He lies under the shady trees, in the covert of the reeds and fens. The shady trees cover him with their shadow. The willows of the brook compass him about. Behold, he drinks up a river and hastens not. He trusts that he can draw up the Ardan into his mouth. He takes it with his eyes. His nose pierces through snares.